Hello and welcome to a bit of a different kind of video. I'm still fighting now, but cold a little bit, so my voice is not quite there yet. But uh, I hope you understand. What I wanted to address with this video is just a little problem with top tier, or better to say, the top tier players themselves. In short, don't be like this team that I'm playing with right now. You'll see how the match develops, but um, it's pretty bad. <laughs> it's pretty bad, y'all. So, the main thing, especially in top tier, you want to climb at least a little bit. If you have a jet capable of doing so, and to be fair, or to be short, most top tier jets are capable of doing so, get some altitude. One, you'll perform better at that altitude, speed-wise. Um, but also, that altitude is always energy for a potential fight coming up. So, say, you see somebody, he's gonna be below you, because, <laughs> let's be frank, 99% of the Air RB community right now is just lawn mowing. Um, and, yeah, you'll just be way quicker, way higher, and you'll have the uh, the advantage flat out. Now people come with the classic argument, but radar missiles. What about radar missiles? Actually, you see a perfect example of the radar missiles in-game right now. And if you cannot handle these situations at a um, high altitude, you need to learn how to notch missiles. There are some great tutorials on radar notching on YouTube, um, but to kind of explain it here, in short, what you want to do is you want to fly perpendicular, meaning you're neither approaching nor flying away from the enemy, which throws the pulse doppler off you, um, so it loses the track, and the missile lose the, uh, the lock on you, so you really want to keep them on your side to your like 3 or 9 o'clock and uh, play with the angles a little bit. For example, they attack you from your 12 o'clock, you're gonna pull left, get the missile on your 3 o'clock, and if you see that the missile still tracks you, pull it a bit more to your 4 o'clock. What works with most radar missiles is changing the aspect. So if they launched at you at your front hemisphere, on your hot hemisphere, so to say, quote unquote, um, if you switch it to cold, which is the back hemisphere of your plane or the engine, it's the opposite from infrared missile, uh, missiles with radar missiles, um, most missiles will be confused and lose lock on you. One of the few exceptions, if not one of the only exceptions uh, in the game right now, is the R27ER, which uh, will and can still uh, reacquire lock on you if the enemy uh, manages to reacquire lock on your plane. Most missiles will self destruct when losing lock, but the ER is built different, I guess. So, you know. As you see in this gameplay, getting a flank on the enemy is highly beneficial, usually. Um, I killed quite a few of them, but um, the team just kind of fell apart. So there's not much I can do at this point. I can try to RTB since I'm out of missiles, but I got quite a few on my ass and uh, that's not gonna happen. I couldn't evade hard enough here without bleeding too much speed, so I eventually end up dying to the radar missile. But um, yeah, in short, people, please, climb at least a little bit, get some energy, get some sweet, sweet kills. And uh, if you get killed by radar missiles a lot at high altitude, learn how to evade them, it helps. With that, I'm out for tonight. Not with a crazy killing spree, but I think a pretty good battle to show the problematic. You guys have a great evening, and I will see you around. Bye!